we're in Perry Bower, which is a part of Birmingham, and we're doing the redevelopment of the Alexander Stadium. My name is Martin Keyes. Um, I'm the operations director overseeing the construction of this project and leading the construction team. The key challenges we really faced in this project, uh, the first one that comes to mind really is COVID. COVID's been with us since we started on the project. Um, you know, we've had to learn to live with it. Um, we've had to learn to adapt to our new safe systems of work. Anybody that comes to site is getting tested. All the workers are getting tested twice a week and any visitors come to site are tested before they're permitted access to the site. But just learning to live with COVID, you know, and all the safe systems of work that come with it is definitely one of the key challenges. Recently, we've been facing challenges um, with construction materials. There's a lot of headlines at the minute, you know, in the news of, you know, steel prices going up, shortage of insulation, and we have been feeling that sort of nibbling around the edges of the work that's happening here. It's not having any real critical impact on us, but, you know, we can certainly feel and we're having to resequence some parts of our work to make sure that we're not caught with that type of thing. The completion date is key here. We need to be finished by April 2022. We've got a very enthusiastic and determined team here and just the ethos to everyone involved in it from the site team to the client team, the design team, just anyone involved in the project has just been absolutely brilliant. My name's Paul Robertson, I'm Associate Director at MACE um, and I'm part of our sport and leisure delivery team. I've worked at MACE for 10 years delivering different sports projects around the UK and as a, a Birmingham born and bred um, this is probably one of the most exciting projects that I've had the opportunity to work on so really enjoying it at the moment. MACE first got involved in 2018 and I started when we submitted the bid and I've been through it throughout the whole duration and that's been really exciting to see it from a, a concept of knocking down three existing stands to what are we going to build to incorporating the existing east stand working with the designers. It's really been enjoyable to see it all the way from kind of a concept through the Reba stages, procuring McLaughlin and Harvey, and now seeing it on site, and being able to even talk about handing it over um, so early in the day um, is really good. So it's been a long journey to get to this. Wouldn't have expected the pandemic when we were in 2018. We've got through Brexit, we've got through all things. So to be on programme and on budget now is just kudos to the whole team involved. My name is Hannah Lamont, I'm a Social Value Coordinator for McLaughlin Harvey. I'm locally employed, I'm a graduate on the project, I graduated from the University of Birmingham and started in July 2020. My greatest achievement on the Alexander Stadium project has been delivering and managing the UMATA Community Scheme. It's an opportunity for local communities and people to access small grants, volunteer time and access and unused materials from the construction process. Already we've supported over 35 local community projects and we've donated over £30,000 as well. McLaughlin and Harvey have been good neighbours. We've had no problems with them regarding anything. They've supported us by retarmacking one of the driveways where disabled children go to one plot and some of them were in wheelchairs and before they had rather a bumpy ride trying to get there. They've also supplied some picnic tables, topsoil, and then they did a community project for Dee Dawn and her husband, who is completely disabled, so he could get wheelchair access to the plot. Over the last 12 months, the highlight for me has been the huge amount of social value engagement that McLaughlin and Harvey have done in the community. The U Matters scheme has been brilliant, and it's been exciting that we've been able to be a part of that as well we've been able to volunteer in some of the litter pits and help out with some of the applications for grants. But it's really significant that the, the contractor is making a positive impact in the community. So that's been the highlight um, of this year so far for me. My name's Cora Fowles and I'm an assistant quantity surveyor here on the Alexander Stadium project. I work part-time here on the stadium and McLaughlin and Harvey have given me the opportunity to be able to work part-time so that I can complete a master's degree. It's honestly a privilege for your first job, I think, to be able to 
come on a project like this and work with so many experienced people and to be immersed in all of that, I think it's like a wellspring of knowledge that I'm just able to sort of draw from. So I take it as a major privilege to be able to say that this was my first job. And I do believe that I am learning so much from being able to be on a project of such high profile, but also as well where there's so much works that are, are being put together to be able to deliver such a big project for this nation. My name is Alex Dick, I'm the site engineer from McLaughlin Harvey. I'm part of the site management team, so I deal with health and safety, quality and the day-to-day -day site management challenges. We are coming up to one of the busiest stages of the project where we've got external works and internal works ongoing. Externally we've still got a lot of concrete works to do within the, the terraces, the seating areas. We've got a few retaining walls, some ramps and a lot of architectural items like hard landscaping, benching and street furniture. We've also got a lot of cut and fill and construction of some car parks left. Internally, we're on to boarding, we're on to architectural panels, and we're doing a lot of screening and a lot of the internal finishes ongoing just right now. The ongoing challenges with the site are primarily just logistics, where we've got a lot of subcontractors on site working right now. It takes a lot of management and planning to make sure everyone gets their job done as safely as possible. The workforce have got on really well. We've got 200 guys on site today, and so far they've kept the job on time and ahead in some cases. I really enjoy being part of this project as the biggest one I've ever done and it's something completely different to what I've done previously in the past so it's a nice addition to my CV. My name's Liam Jackson, I'm a trainee site manager for McLaughlin Harvey. I have a few different roles on site, I have a few packages to look after and I also have the general roles of a trainee site manager such as inductions and carrying out general permits they need on a daily basis. I'm on the graduate trainee scheme, so that means I'm at university one day a week whilst I'm in term time. The other four days a week I'm here on site with McLaughlin Harvey. One year on from the start of the project, we've got all the main contractors we needed on site now. They're all progressing well and working well together. One of the challenges we've got at the moment is the sequences of work for completion of the track. This is because the track needs to be complete in summer and to lay the final layers of the track we need the correct weather conditions and humidity levels. Health and safety is one of the main aims for McLaughlin Harvey. We have a regular toolbox talk with our guys. All of the guys that are on site, all the supervisors, have to fill out point of work risk assessments every morning before they start work. And this is just to give the guys an idea of any general risk that they will be encountering. The workforce on site are very good. All the guys on here, all the supervisors, are happy to help you whenever you need something. And I must say, the progress that we've made is all down to them. They have been a credit to the project as a whole. So we're one year gone and it's been brilliant. We've got a really good team dynamic with everybody um, and things are going really well. We're on programme and we're on budget. And as we look forward, we need to look forward with excitement, but also anticipation and, and really managing any of the risks that we see that are coming up as well. At the moment, can't fault the contractor onwards and upwards. And as we look into kind of the future, we just got to maintain this, but working with McLaughlin and Harvey has been really good um, and a lot of fun as well. I suppose the highlights of the project really is just overcoming the key challenges, you know, and just navigating our way through all the difficulties that we're finding and just being here watching the project come together has just been absolutely brilliant. We're one year on here now at the Alexander Stadium Redevelopment. It has been a real roller coaster of a ride, I suppose, as we've been through the highs and the lows of the project. We're on programme and we're very confident that with the team ethos that's been on site and the support that we're getting from the client that you know, we're, we're confident that we're going to achieve the completion of the project on time.